like we're going to give you some of the basic blocks to set up this project and then you will go through and do the go button logic so the other buttons are written for you and an example of generating the random number so if we go to our blocks we've seen we have several blocks already created for you right so our variable is created called random number we initialize it to zero but we're actually going to set it in our initialize event and then we have another variable higher chosen that is set to false to begin with right so this just represents whether the higher button was clicked or the lower button was clicked so in the higher case it will be set to true in the lower case it'll be set to false right so then we can go through our initialize screen one which gets called when the app is launched so first we set our random seed to clock system time so that is under our math random set seed and our clock component we will get system time right here okay so that simply allows us to get different random numbers every time we launch the app right and so then we want to initialize our actual random number from 1 to 100 just like the instruction said so we go to math we get the random number and we use our set variable block and then we have a few settings for our labels and our buttons just to kind to make them uh, colored and so we can always set the colors back uh, properly right so our colors are listed here and right? we use this gray one and this white one and then we set the text of the number label right? we saw the number label up here we set that value to the initial random number and if we see uh, our buttons, we notice that our go button is actually disabled, right? So we don't have the check for enabled, which means you can't tap it or click it when you start the app, which means we have to choose something first. So our lower and our higher are very similar in blocks. We set the button to green, right? In this case, the lower, in this case, the higher. And then we set the alternate button to gray. And we set the go button to gray, right? So it was white and now it will be gray, right? So when we click the go button, all of our buttons should go back to this state, right? A gray, gray, white, as well as our enabled should go back to disabled and right? we shouldn't be able to click the button go until we make our second choice on the second time around right and then we set our text from choose make your choice to go okay and our enabled see how we set enabled to true so it will flip it to false after we click go and then we say whether we chose the higher button or the lower button. So we said false in the lower situation, said true in the higher situation, right? And so the general algorithm we want to use for this is we want to check our random number. And if we said higher and it is higher, then we need to update the game status label to say, you were correct or something like that. And then if it was wrong, we update the game status saying they were wrong. Also, if they were correct, we need to increment our streak counter, right? So we have our variable or rather our property, right? So our streak counter, we can see right here, 
So we can get this text property. right here and we can set it and we can perform math on that as well okay, our math blocks allow us to add or subtract okay, we're not subtracting from our streak if we get it incorrect our streak becomes zero we didn't we broke our streak okay so all of that will be out outlined in the algorithm in the lab specification 